Live. So thanks to a $2 million donation, a collection of black newspaper archives will be digitized to make them available to future researchers and the public as a whole. The collection includes files of black newspapers, the records of black editors, publishers, and journalists. The Black Press Archives, that is an organization that says Howard's Black Press Archive will be the largest, most diverse, and the world's most accessible black newspaper database ever. This is again happening at Howard University. So here to talk about the collection is entrepreneur and TV personality Burton Kelso. Happy Monday, sir. Thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and dive right into the conversation. This collection includes papers like the Chicago Defender and the New York Am Amsterdam News, as well as publications in French and Kiswahili. You know, there's a mountain of context here. Why is it so important to have this type of access to black publications specifically? Because, Jimmy, it kind of dwells into the whole critical race theory as far as uh, allowing African Americans and just Americans in general to have access to the, these documents. I mean, this has been a long time coming, and it's a shame that it's happening right now that our voices aren't being shared over the Internet. I mean, obviously, up until this point, if you wanted to do research on black newspapers, you would have to take a trip to Howard and look at their microfish uh, collection to do research, but now it's going to be accessible to the whole world and it definitely will enable us and our voices to be shared uh, globally. So, I mean, it, it's it's fantastic that all this is going down. Mm -hmm. There's been so much that has happened uh, in the black community from our inception in this country. Uh, it goes way, way back, but we also know that the term history is literally the power of the pen, his story. Whoever has the pen, they jot it down. So how is having these publications accessible going to help tell the full and decorated story of black people in America and give more full insight into black history? Well, if it's accessible, obviously you can just do a quick internet research and find out whatever news you need to find out as far as black history is concerned. It's no longer going to be a one-sided approach as far as uh, history is concerned, as far as white publications are concerned. You're going to be able to uh, Google, do whatever internet research you need to to find out uh, both sides of the story. So no longer it will be his story, as you mentioned, Jimmy, it'll be our story. And finally, it'll be an opportunity where we're being included in the narrative when it comes to American history overall. Mm -hmm. Filling in the blanks from actual journalists and editors and, you know, just black publications in the past. Those that is the facts. Literally, that's what journalists go off of. So let's kind of dive into another part of it sociologically here in the U.S. Why do you think there is such a push to preserve and observe these types of archives now currently? Well, because the Internet would be a, one of the good reasons. But then also, too, we have to look at um, the inclusion or the Internet inclusion bill that was passed uh, by both parties recently, giving access to low income families um, as far as technology and Internet access is concerned. So this is a great starting point to allow these archives that were at Howard University to be on the Internet, because it means that future generations will be able to see both sides of the story when it comes to uh, American history. No longer will it be one sided. It'll be all sides. And so our youth, meaning African Americans, can get a full picture, whereas us growing up, meaning you and I, Jimmy, we weren't able to have access to this information. So, I mean, it, it's great. It's a great deal. And obviously it's going to help bring the world or not the world, but the U.S. full circle as far as our uh, history and our education. Indeed, indeed. He's a TV entrepreneur, Burton Kelso, and you also just kind of touched on how this is going to help us as a society understand black history and black people as a whole. Thank you for joining us, sir.